Alright guys, it's Jernigan here. I seem to get the theories here that Rockstar, all that time, they kept pushing back all these DLCs. All that time they kept pushing back their GTA 5 games. Remember when it was a terrible mess on the PS4 when they transferred GTA 5 from the PS3 when it kept crashing and the loading screen was bad all the time. Then they transferred GTA 5 from the PS4. Same problems, loading screen was terrible. I mean, things were missing on the PS3 version of GTA 5 when you're loading up, your, your cars didn't spawn properly in the garages. Now, all this time, Rockstar have been messing about, pissing about, putting all these old DLCs together on GTA 5. The same old DLCs that we've all seen. Fair enough if people have not seen these DLCs before and never played GTA 5, that's fair enough. But for all, us hard hard worker fans or loyal fans that have been at the game since day one what is the point of bringing out gta 5 on the ps5 nobody wants gta 5 on the ps5 they didn't even mention red dead redemption 2 remastered on the ps5 and ps4 people that's what people wanted as well bully 2 game people people wanted on ps5 they could have mentioned that as well liberty city they could have mentioned about that a bit, about a, about that as well, like a remaster. Why? Why? It, it doesn't make any sense at all to me. They could have mentioned the Agent game that was delayed in 2013 on PlayStation 3. Uh, what about another Max Payne 4 game? Or a L.A. Noir 2? Or why don't you put GTA 5 on the PS5 in VR? The sort of things like that. Why can't they mention that? That's what's annoying me, and I'm getting annoyed because they're a great company, but I think they're lacking and milking GTA 5 for too long. It came on the PS3 in 2013, came on the PS4, remastered, now they went on the PS5, and it was on the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One GTA 5. And it will be on the new Xbox, and it will be on the new Xbox um, 2 or something, or whatever that comes out. And it's on the PS4 Pro. I mean, they're the same machines, you know. What is Rockstar playing at? If they really cared about their fans and the people in the community, they'd bring out GTA 6. They've been faffing around all, all this time. It's taken them too long to make anything. I mean, I mean, people have mentioned that they're going to bring out another Midnight Club game or a Manhunt, which they stopped that because it got banned, the Manhunt games. Because... Um, I mean, I think they were selling well, but sometimes in very violent games, they don't want them to sell. Other times it's different. But my, my opinion is, everyone's got an opinion. We're all human beings at the end of the day. I'm just irritated and annoyed that they could have made a bit more of an effort instead of showing the same old boring trailer for a lot of people. I'm not being horrible and nasty, I'm just telling you how it is. Some people think differently. I mean, I think differently, we all do. But it would, it would have been nicer if they would have given us a bit more of an idea. Oh, GTA 6 is coming out soon. How about getting GTA 5 with GTA 4 in the map expansion? None of that. It's disappointing. So a lot of fans and play, loyal players are angry with them because they're bringing out the same game again for the third time. They only need to bring it out twice. Make something new. Do something different. Why bring out the same game again? Is it going to have police DLC in? Is it going to have cops and crooks in? Is it going to have uh, mansions in it? Or what? They can't answer this, can they? Anyway, what do you guys think about this video? Do you agree with me or don't you agree with me? It's enough one piece.